Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Slayer, and today we have some Blunaria Swamp random cards gameplay. So, cards, I mean, generally, it takes a long time for the, the lobby to fill up, so I hope I'm not waiting a million and a half hours. And so I guess we're just going to wait to find an opponent. It is boss arena, so I feel like it'll take slightly less time to find an opponent than the normal card arena. Oh yeah, see, we already found one. Oh, he failed to connect. Come on, man. Why do you always have to fail to connect? Maybe you just ha don't have an internet connection, but he didn't seem like very good of a player. Like, 86 and 121 record. Then again, it's basically my car card record because I don't main cards, so yeah. So I hope it doesn't take too long to find an opponent, so we're just going to wait it out. Okay, so we finally fired our opponent, Fahad Kink YT. So I actually know this guy. He's actually one of my friends. So I'll, I'll be sure to link his channel in the description. Please be sure to subscribe to him. He just hit 100 subscribers, and please help his channel grow. He's a really great Bloons tuber. So this deck, I mean, it seems pretty weird. It looks like we have, we're going to recycle our Spike Factory, and we're going to recycle our Super Monkey soon in our overclock engineer, because that's pretty useless. I don't want to start with the glaive thrower, because the glaive thrower isn't that great of a tower for early game. Okay, so we have our wizard coming, and I'm just going to start with that. And I'm going to put it in the center of the map. So he's giving us a crying face. I'm not so sure why. I'm pr probably going to send him some stuff with my glaive thrower card, and I'm going to recycle that mortar tower, as it's pretty much useless. So he keeps giving me crying emotes. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because we're friends, but I don't think so. I'm just going to send some of these blues here. Yeah, that should damage, do a lot of damage. Is he going to lead to this? So I'm going to recycle my temple card because I obviously don't eat it. Is my wizard going to defend these blues? I don't know, man. Ooh. Do I need to go for my heli? Uh, I don't think I have to go for my heli here, which is unfortunate because it's super expensive, but I have to do it. Ah. Uh, Okay, that was a lot of money, but I am able to send some more blues. Yeah, he's shocked that I went for the heli, because it's really expensive. So, I do have the banana farm card, but I'm probably just going to use it to send the balloons instead. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing also. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so, we're just going to send him some greens. And, yeah. I honestly have no clue what the point of the Temple of the Monkey God card is. Can you even sacrifice anything with it? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, maybe it sure can send a ton of ZMGs, but it's so expensive. So I'm, I'm planning on sending some of these blue balloons from the Mortar Tower card here. Bloon Buster, 3 0. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a great tower, but its balloon sense should give me a lot of eco, which is good. I'm gonna get that Wiz on last because it's in a pretty good spot where it's set on last. Or should we change the targeting? I think first is fine. So I'm gonna send a lot of blues. I think he also used the same card to send. Hard eyes, all right. He's giving me a hard eyes. Better than the crying face he was spamming earlier. All right. So I'm going to recycle my temple card as it's pretty much useless. Not pretty much. It's definitely useless. So I have the Mortar Tower. It has Region Rainbow, so I'm probably going to super bloom boost that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just accidentally used my spikes. So I'm planning. what I'm planning on doing is sending those region rainbows from the bigger blast card with a super bloom boost, because I don't think he'll be able to defend. Oh, but we have, like, empowered towers. Hmm. He might be able to defend. So I'm going to send him a lot of pinks from the cannon ship card, and I'm probably just going to have to get another heli for defense. Or maybe another wizard. Or should I send the yellows from the wizard? Hmm, I don't know. Should I use the mortar for defense? I don't, I don't think so, because I want to use the region rainbows to try and win the game. Because his defense... It is very weak. He has a couple 1 0 NGs and a little wizard. Alright, so I'm gonna try and super bloom boost these. Oh, he's also gonna super bloom boost. Oh, I think he's gonna die to this. He was just gonna super bloom boost pinks, but I have another heli. Oh, are you good? 
You're dead. No way you defend that. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Let's go. We just won our first cards game in Boss Arena against Fahad King, and I'll see you in the next game. So, we're in our second game now, and <laughs> we're facing the same opponent. So, please go subscribe to his channel. I think it's Fahad King, and I'll link it in the description. So, <laughs> that's hilarious. I found my friend tw two times in a row, and it wasn't even a rematch, because you can talk us around different sides. I literally went into the same match. It took me, like, two whole minutes to find a match. And, yeah. So, this tower deck, this card deck is kind of bad. I mean, the average tower cost is $9,546. Which, yeah, it's pretty expensive. So, alright. So, my global ranks are pretty similar to his. We're both top 100 on both leaderboards. And, okay. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to start with here. Oh, I see an engineer in the corner, so I'm probably going to start with that. NG is a pretty solid early game defense, and I have just enough money to afford it. And this is a pretty good placement. The Sentry Gun Engineer, those like the Focused Firing Dartling, and the Intense Magic Wizard are like the best early game towers for cards. So I'm going to try and send stuff as soon as I can. I'm not sure when I'll be able to send stuff. It looks like I have a Bloom Buster card that allows me to send blues in round three, so I'm probably going to do that. He's sending reds. I'm not sure how he found the card to do that, but we have a nice tower, so I'm going to save up to send these blues. Are we good to this? Do I need to get a nice tower? Uh, I think we're fine. NG is pretty good early game. Okay. I'm going to send him some of these blues when I can afford to, which is at 54 seconds. All right. Okay, he's really going to struggle to this. Look how many blues there are. So I think I need to get a tax shooter. No, I don't need to. Okay, I'm probably going to get an ice tower around that first loop where the sentry gun is right now. Because, yeah, he also used the ice tower placement. Dude, that ice tower placement is super OP. And he's still going to be leaking a lot of lives to this. Does he have to use a lightning bolt? Eee, that's a lot of leaks. So I'm going to get the ice tower too. It's a great placement. So our powers are fertile soil. I think that's intense tower boost and lightning bolts, which they're good powers, but... I don't see the use of Fertile Soil when we don't even have a farm card. Or at least I don't think we have one yet. So we have 360 Eco, which isn't terrible considering its cards. Oh, okay. I keep accidentally swiping out. Excuse me. Um, so we're going to send him some blues using the Tax Shooter card. Dude, this Ice Tower placement is just absolutely so locked down. Like, this Ice Tower spot is so good. So we're going to get another 1-0 NG down. He's going to Fertile Soil because we don't have a farm card, so it's pretty much a useless power. But I'm not going to use it yet just to make sure I don't have a farm card, although I'm pretty sure we don't. Nah, I can use it. Even if we do have a farm card, I'm probably not going to use it considering how much eco I have already. So, what what do we have to detect camo in this deck? Oh, we have Flash Bomb Ninja, so that, that can see camo. We have a Juggernaut, that can see camo. The Ice can't see camo. We have Monkey Pirates, which technically can see camo, but I really don't want to buy it just for its camo detection, because it's like, what, $6,000, I think? I don't play cards that much, so I don't know anything about it. Oh, he's sending region yellows. Are we good to this? Okay, I have to get a Bloom Buster Mortar. Yeah. The Bloom Buster Mortar is super good. It costs a lot of money, though, but the Mortar Loop is very good. Oh, we forced a boost over there, which is good. So, I still don't have any camo detection, which sucks. He gets down a 0, zero attack shooter in a pretty good spot. So, oh, what am I going to use for camo detection? I don't know. Uh, this is bad. I really don't have any camo detection at all. I do have the flash bomb, so I'm going to get down another... Ooh, yep, he's sending the camos. This is bad. I'm just going to use a lightning. That should handle. And I'm also probably going to get a flash bomb down, so I can pop a... I'm going to sell something so I can get a flash bomb. Or, oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's a lot of camos. I need to get down my flash bomb. And I have to use a lightning. That's bad. But we are able to defend. His defense is super weak. And I think we have a region rainbow card with a balloon impact. So I'm going to send out some of these region rainbows when I can afford it. Hmm. I'm probably going to sell some of these so I can afford to send. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. Ah. Uh, hmm. So I'm going to sell that Engineer, and I'm going to send him Region Rainbows. His defense is so weak, I don't think he defends this. See ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. No way you defend this. He's going to use a Lightning Bolts, 
Ooh, he gets the Juggernaut. He had to boost it. Uh oh. Is he gonna defend? No way you defend that. I think let's go. We just took down Fahad King for the second time in a row. And I think that's gonna wrap up this video. I think this is long enough. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please subscribe to mine and his channel. And please feel free to drop a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one.